Hey guys, it's Dara. Today's lesson is fitness in Tagalog. So let's get your Tagalog in shape. Are you ready? Let's get started. First word that I want you to learn is sapatos. Sapatos, which means shoes. Second word is pang, the preposition for. Third word is ejercicio. Ejercicio, which means exercise. Exercise. So, how do you say shoes for exercise? Zapatos pang ejercicio. Next word that I want you to learn is lakad. Lakad. Now, if I start to run, takbo. Takbo. And if I just jog, jog is still jog in Tagalog. Now, what if you want to swim? How do you say that in Tagalog? Swim in Tagalog is langoy. Langoy. So again guys, lakad, walk. Takbo, run. And number three, langoy, swim. Sapatos, shoes. Pang, four. Sapatos pang langoy. Shoes for swimming. There are some, right? Sapatos pang takbo. Shoes for running or running shoes. Sapatos pang lakad. Shoes for just walking, not a heavy duty shoes. Now, what if you get tired and you just want to rest? Rest in Tagalog is pahinga. Pahinga. So, right now, I'm having a pahinga. I'm having a rest. If lakad is a walk, and that is the infinitive meaning to say to walk, how do you say walks in present tense or walking in present progressive tense? On my previous videos, I have already explained to you that the present simple tense and the present progressive tense in Tagalog are the same, right? So lakad in present simple tense and present progressive tense will become naglalakad. So how do you say, I am walking? I am walking right now. I am walking. Ako ay naglalakad. Ako ay naglalakad. What if the action is already done? How do you say, lakad in its past form? Naglakad. Naglakad. You say it in future form future tense, maglalakad, maglalakad. Alright, that's it guys. It's just a short lesson. I gotta work out. Bye-bye.